So I saw the steps on Instagram. I'm trying to replicate that. A from memory and B from a lack of measurements. Because it's just a little video that you see these steps in. So it doesn't tell you how to make it, it just shows you what the product is. And if I get it wrong on this piece, then I'll have to cut another piece and try again. I'm going to give you a quick look at it on my phone, but for copyright reasons, I'm not going to show it to you too long. And I'm not stealing a design, I'm replicating an idea. And that's, the, that's what makes a difference in copyright. I'm not directly stealing a design. I'm looking at this picture and then making my own version of it. That landed on my safety crocs, which is good because it didn't damage the wood. After much thinking and drawing, I think I've got it sussed. So the two steps need to be exactly the same size, and I think I've got that right. The bottom of this step needs to be 250 mils from the floor uh, and the floor is 160 so that to that needs to be 90 so that distance from there to there needs to be 250 the distance from there to there needs to be 250 and that distance from there to there is 250 that line across there gets cut out from there to there and from there to there uh, but I'm gonna cut it now and put the hinges in and see if it works and by the way this is already the second attempt Ideally, if you wanted this perfect, you'd have to do it on a CNC machine. But for my purposes, at least as a as a prototype, this is probably good. I'll clean it up, sand it, put hinges on it, see if it actually works in theory, and then decide whether it needs to be recut, do another one or not. slide away to and then we pull it out from the sliders okay I did get that wrong 
because that should be a full length leg down to the floor. That's how it will sit. All the weights on those hinges, you see, and those small screws. But that seems okay. If you can carry my 115 kilos, it'll carry anybody else. What I might have to do is cut a separate piece like this with the longer leg. There is a CNC cutting service in town, but I'm not going. I've decided I won't be beaten. Perfectly square, but good enough, I think. I could tidy up a few little bits, but that'll do two templates and then two steps. And there's only one way to find out. I'm excited about this stuff, they're keen to try it. This time, the new leg is too long. So, makes sense. Adjustment required. Et voila. So if I put over that side on there, just bad, even. Although that one looks like it's leaning that way a bit. Okay, drawer sliders is going on this side of this, and then I can put this back in. Sliders, heavy duty. There's no fancy keeping it together kind of hardware. It just slides into each other. Just had a minor panic moment, frantically searching my pockets for my phone. Oh, I forgot I set it up to do a time lapse.
Ah, uh, for God's sake. This rail's the wrong way around as well. That's why I got that one the wrong way around, because this one's the wrong way around. It's near the end of the day and I'm downtrodden. I'm defeated. I, uh, okay, here's what I've done. I've got a door on there. I've got those doors working. I put trim on here and it looks good. But this doesn't look good. And when I showed Rosie just now, she poo pooed it in a big way because well there's a whole bunch of issues first of all when I put a hin when I put doorknobs on there that clashes and the fact that it's flimsy and needs a heap more work to get it fixed properly she poo 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 pooed my whole idea and she's right. So now I'm taking it out again. Probably chuck it away. <laughs> Probably chuck it on the road and let trucks drive over it. 